Hey friends, welcome back to Food Prep Guide. I am about to harvest this potato patch and I just really quickly wanted to address some questions that I had when I first started uh, growing potatoes. Just in case any of you may be growing potatoes for the first time or maybe you're getting ready to do so in the fall or next spring. Um, I just wanted to answer those questions in case y'all might have them. And my number one question was, how do I know when they're ready to harvest? And the signs that you need to look for are for the plants to start turning yellow um, and then even brown and even just almost starting to just die back. Like I have, let me get you a close up. Here's a closer look of what I'm talking about. So this plant right here, you can see a lot of yellowing going on and then actually, you know, completely brown leaves. And that's the story all throughout this patch. Yellow and then some that are just completely uh, brown and some others that are still totally green but have a little bit of yellowing to them. Um, now I am harvesting this patch just a tad bit early. There's some right there, some more. Um, but that's just because it is the first week of June and it is getting so hot here. Potatoes are a cool weather crop and they're just not gonna be performing well anymore from this point on. Um, it's really just kind of not really a waste so much as, well, it kind of is a waste because I can be preparing the soil for the fall, which is what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these, but before I do that, the other question I wanted to address is what happens if I harvest too early? Um, and the answer is nothing. You just get new potatoes or baby potatoes. And a lot of people actually prefer new or baby potatoes to full, full size mature potatoes. Um, and if you want new or baby potatoes, what you're going to do is you're going to want to harvest shortly after the potatoes flower. Potatoes put out flowers when they are kind of have just started producing the actual potatoes and if you wait about a week or two weeks after that point then you will get your new slash baby potatoes. Um, but uh, let me just show you real quick why I love planting potatoes in the straw. And the reason why is because you can see I'm just taking my hand and pushing the soil back and there's the potatoes. No digging, uh, no, no machinery needed. It's just they come up, they're not even super crazy dirty. Um, and this is why I absolutely love growing potatoes in straw. That's just so fun. <laughs> okay, y'all, hope that helps.